Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to talk about Oshinoko. Oshinoko is a Japanese anime based on the manga of the same name written by Aka Akasaka and illustrated by Mengo Yokowari and produced by the animation studio Doga Kobo. So bear with me now because there's a lot to explain on this one. So the series begins with our pro tag Dr. Goro Amamiyama who is a big fan of the pop idol Ai Hoshino. Now you may be wondering why the hell is a grown ass man a huge fan of a teenager? Well that's because he got it from a patient of his, Sarina Tendoji, who was a huge fan of the idol and sadly who recently passed away. Anyways, Goron here wishes that he could meet Ai in person one day. And believe it or not, it comes true when she shows up at his hospital, but she's not sick, instead she is pregnant with twins. Yeah, and keep in mind, she's just a teenager. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyways, Goro here promises I, that he will deliver her children safely. However, before she gives birth, this happens. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. Yeah, so he gets murdered, and believe it or not, he nearly gets isekai but not to a fantasy world. Instead, he gets reincarnated as one of Ai's kids, named Aquamarine, or Aqua for short. But he is not alone, as his twin sister, Ruby, is also a reincarnation of the girl from earlier, Serena. And by the way, none of them know their true identity, so yeah. And Aqua here still has memories of his previous life. Anyways, for the next four years, he sees her career progressing from idol to actress, and he meets a new friend, Kana Arima. Anyways, I thinks that Aqua will be a perfect actor when he grows up, and Ruby wants to be an idol just like her mother. And things look like they're going well with the family, until this happens. And yep, you can imagine how I felt along with every other fan of the show. <sighs> <laughs> so yeah, after that heartbreaking moment, Ai's murderer commits suicide and Aqua believes that the murderer may have been his biological father as he is the only one who actually knew about Ai's pregnancy and knew her exact location. And because of this, he vows revenge. Meanwhile, Ruby, on the other hand, wants to follow in her mother's footsteps. Anyways, 12 years pass and both Aqua and Ruby are high school students and they've been adopted by Ichiko and Miyako Saito who are owners of IA's talent agency Strawberry Productions. And on their way there, they reunite with Kana who's trying to jumpstart her career as an actress. In addition, both Aqua and Ruby begin building their own careers in entertainment. Again, Ruby wanting to make her own idol group and Aqua only taking acting roles in order to locate his biological father. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So what do I think of the series? Well, the series is pretty good so far. The animation is amazing as hell. I mean, just look at the details they make on the eyes themselves. Not to mention the music is awesome as they're all fucking bangers. 
Hell, it makes me want to dance around with glow sticks. And speaking of the music, its theme song Idol reached uh, 1 million worldwide streams and video views on Spotify and YouTube within two weeks after the anime's release, and took first place on Apple Music's Top 100 Global Chart. Moreover, another thing I enjoy about this show is that we get to see like Japan's entertainment world and see all the ins and outs on what goes behind the scenes, which I find pretty interesting. And I gotta say, with the characters, I enjoy them very much. With, of course, the one that's pretty much billboarded everywhere, I Hoshino. Because even though she only makes her only appearance in the first episode, she had a huge impact, both to the characters and the show itself. As not only is she a great singer, she is also one of the more interesting characters of this series. As like the audience, Aqua wants to find out more about like who his mom really is and starts to question whether the person he knew was the real her or just a performance. Like she was actually disorderly, reckless, and even asocial at times. But whenever she needs to give out a performance, she gives out one hell of a performance, drawing people with her charisma and cheerful personality. Or in other words... We all wear masks, Spider-Man. But which one is real? The one that hides your face, or the one that is your face? Not to mention, she's a very caring and sweet character, as you see the amount of love and affection she gives to both Aqua and Ruby. And let's talk about Aqua as he's also an interesting character in my opinion as due to him retaining his memories of his previous life, he's more grown up than his twin sister, as well as more intelligent and cunning. And after his mother got murdered, he began to feel sympathetic as not only does he want to find the person responsible for his murder, he also wants to keep his twin sister from following her footsteps as he fears something like that can happen to her. Not to mention this tragedy changed his personality as he is more colder and more discreet, only motivated by caring about his sister and finding his mother's murder. Moreover, I felt so bad for him that hell I wish I was there to comfort Aqua. And as a teenager, we get to see how skilled he is with both acting and also film production as Aqua demonstrates in several episodes. And come to think of it, that's pretty much what drew me to his character, that he is so good at acting and film production that made me want to take him in as an apprentice. Soon I will have a new apprentice, one far younger and more powerful. Like seriously, he can help me out in this show. Hell, I'll even pay him back by helping him in his journey to revenge. And I can give him some demon magic. And keeping his sister safe with bodyguards. And believe me, by the time I'm done training this guy, he's gonna be like this. And speaking of his sister, let's talk about Ruby as she is also a great character as she's a polar opposite of her brother as she's more childlike and has a more cheerful personality compared to him. And like how I mentioned before, she is driven to become an idol just like her mother as in her previous life, that's what she dreamt of. And she practiced non-stop just to do her dance moves. And even as a teenager, she won't stop until completing her goal, even finding members for her group. Oh, and speaking of her group, let's talk about Kana as she's also a great character and has the most like comedic moments whenever she's with Aqua or Ruby as she is both cheerful and confident, but also rude and sharp tongue as she wants to continue her acting career and getting better roles but she unfortunately gets stuck with either bad actors or a bad production but she wants to give it her all not to mention it is sad to see that she has low self-confidence especially with her singing but luckily aqua gets her to to believe in herself more because as you can see she really likes him she even drops hints that she's interested in aqua <laughs> Hey? Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> oh no, you didn't! <laughs> And one other character I like to talk about is Akane Kurokawa, 
who's a co-star with Aqua in a reality TV show. And she's also got the most character development with the small amount of screen time she's had as. She starts out as a very shy and quiet person during the show. And after viewers criticize her for this and for an accident involving one of her co-stars, she nearly kills herself from the amount of cyberbullying she gets and not gonna lie this part of the series goes very real moreover this got the show controversy as viewers mentioned that it bears a striking resemblance to an actual suicide case involving a professional wrestler uh, anyways, luckily for Akane, Aqua saves her at the right time before she offs herself, and Aqua even suggests to her to play a character to protect herself from backlash. And as a result, she asks Aqua on his ideal woman, which is Ai Asuno, but we'll talk about that later. And the following day, we get to see how hardworking and determined she is in her acting role as she perfectly mimicked Ai's personality to a T. It was so convincing, even Aqua dipped out. Like, goddamn, Joaquin Phoenix ain't got shit on Akane. And from then on, we see how much of a capable professional she is at acting. And we also get a love triangle between her, Kana, and Aqua, which I can't wait to see more of. Also, speaking of which, the comedy. It has some very great moments, with the best ones coming from both Ruby and Kana. Like, let's take a look at Ruby here. <sighs> And now let's move on to Kana with this. And not gonna lie, this part was pretty funny as it looks like they're doing the chicken dance with this guy. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I like the animation, the characters, the music, and the chemistry between them. And so is there anything I don't like? Yeah, there's a very obvious one with Aqua as it gives out like Sweet Home Alabama vibes as Aqua seems more interested in his mother and Ruby. And yeah, it doesn't help that there's like fucking fan art of this. Hey yo, what the fuck? So yeah, not a huge fan of the Alabama vibes here. And if Aqua was my apprentice, that would be the first thing I would change in a fucking heartbeat. Oh, one other thing is like, after the first episode, it kind of got tamed with the exception of the Akane trying to kill herself moments, but later episodes don't reach the high levels of the first one, so yeah. So overall, uh, this show is pretty interesting. But I will warn you that first episode is like, so crushing. So yeah, the show's pretty decent, the characters are great, and you enjoy the music as well. So personally, I will give this show 4.5 ice stars. Oh, and here's an update. I recently found out that Oshinoko is getting a live action adaptation. Like, take a look! <laughs> So it's gonna be a movie and it's gonna air on Amazon around November. And would I review this film? Uh, maybe, if I feel like it. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Oh, and if you like my work, support the channel at Ko-Fi. There you can support me with as little as a dollar a month. And you can drop suggestions for uh, future projects you want me to do. And you get to have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, I thank you very much. And I appreciate it very much. So stay safe out there. And goodbye. Hey, Aqua, you're done? Yes, master. Good, upload it and we're good to go.